In my last video, I modeled this compact fluorescent light bulb. And now I'm going to add some pretty simple materials to it just to finish off the series. Okay, so here I am in the shader uh, editor over here. And I'm going to select part of this. I'm going to click New. And I'm going to call this Metal. And as you can see, I've got the principal BSDF. And I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this up. Uh, to metal slide the roughness down a little bit and I might just leave it at that um, I could put some noise in there, but I might just do that All right, so we got some metal on there uh, what, I, what I may do actually though is Just do that. Okay, this next part here I'm gonna call this white and very simply, we're going to drag down the roughness like that. And maybe I'll drag up the clear coat. So we have that there. And then these things, I think I'm going to make black. Same idea, lower the roughness, increase the clear coat. and make these like a black color and I think I'll put that black down here as well so I'll select here and I have a couple of the materials here you can see I've got metal I'm going to add another slot here uh, and I'm going to choose black for that but first of all I'll come in here and I'm going to select let's see this face here control plus a few times just to get to about there Right there, black and a sign. And so I'll have a little bit of black down there. Okay, so the real thing I want to work on, however, is this part here. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to call this emission one. Because I may do a few of them. And what I can do here is first of all, I want to make this glass, so I'll bring the transmission up all the way so it's sort of a glassy look bring down the roughness all right so it looks like glass um, i can make the emission say say white and if let's say i made that 20. i come over here and i turn on ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflections i'll bring my ambient occlusion to uh i'll bring my viewport up you know and often uh, that would be it um, but I want to do uh, a little bit more uh, to this and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a color ramp and a layer weight take facing into the fact here to blend at something like 0 0.8 or something like that to start with and drag this into the emission and you can start to see something going on here I'll flip these colors and I'll drag the black down and let's do this and Maybe let's try a different. Something like that for now. So you can see a little bit of the, you know, of the, the glass in there as well. So that gives an interesting, uh, an interesting effect. Now, what you can do here is, um, if I scroll through this blend, you can see what happens to that. So you can choose, you know, a number that you like, and you can change the color over here if you don't like, if you don't like that white. You know, if you want a green glow, 
like that. So that's the effect that we get from from that. And what I'm going to do is I want to try an, uh, something else. I want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to drag that out. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to add a mix shader here. So I can pull that in. As you can see, that uh, that's overridden pretty much the, the color of emission. But I want to do one more thing here. I want to add another layer weight here. But this time, I want to use the Fresnel. And I keep it relatively low. Just a little bit. You see the white around it? And then you can decide if you want to like lower that amount. Well, I'll keep it up there. And if you want to adjust this, it just highlights the border, but I actually like the white. I like the white there. Keep that at 15 or so. And just play with this. Then I go back to layout. And you can see that. I mean, I don't know how realistic it looks, but I do like it. So I've got this as bald board. I can bring in another one. Now, I think I'll just copy it. And I'll make a new collection. I'll call this Bulb 2. And we'll take this. And let's come over here. And let's just call this um, Mission 2. And over here, I'll change the color. to that and then again I can consider if I want so now I have a pink outline and, you know that looks good too and that's basic basically it all right 